So you join me outside the new street building for the Marconi Works and just behind me is the blue plaque that commemorates Dame Nellie Melba's 1920 broadcast. We're celebrating 100 years this year in 2020 of that famous radio music broadcast where she sang into a microphone and it was transmitted to the local area. Well, this is a very famous place. There's the sign above the door and it's also got the office that Marconi used to use here and Peter Turrell's office as well. We're gonna go on a short walking tour around Chomsford. We're gonna go up to the statue just near the Civic Theatre, and then across to Hall Street, just down near Roman Road. I started at New Street, which was then in those days called Marconi's Wireless and Telegraph Company Limited in uh, 1950. As you can see, there's the statue of Marconi with the microphone in his left hand. He's receiving radio waves in his right hand from the air. It's a fantastic statue. At the base of it, it says Marconi, the father of wireless, and it's got the inscriptions of his date of birth, which is 1874, and then he passed away in 1937. So it's a great statue to come and have a look at. Peter Turrell remembers some of the stories about Guglielmo Marconi. And this did helps her quite frequently, stopping at the corner shop in New Street to buy his cigarettes before he walked under the arch into his office at the front of the building. I had the privilege in much later life to uh, occupy the office of Marconi himself. Shortly before his retirement at the end of the 1990s, Peter Turrell was awarded the MBE for his services to the Marconi Company. I went to Egypt in 1983, 84, and got the biggest order the company had ever had with regard to cameras, outside broadcast vehicles. Very proud of that. So here we are, journey's end on our walking tour of Chomsford. It's Marconi's first wireless factory. It's down Hall Street. It's a really interesting building and it has been recently renovated. So I hope you've enjoyed this short walking tour of Chomsford. It took about an hour to undertake and you can walk through Central Park to get between Hall Street and the main locations at the Civic Theatre and also just behind the Cathedral at New Street. So that's our route and that's how you do it.